Hello, welcome back on the Game Beaver. Today's a special episode. Yes, I know every episode is special, but today we have something truly festive, sort of, kind of. Well, we're almost there. Basically, it's near Christmas, and now you've just checked the description of this video and went, well, my god, it's that old. I ain't watching this. Nope, but hold your butties there. There might be something for you. It could be. So, let's. Get on with the show, not waste any more time. So here it is. It is a huge box. Now this could be not the, what I'm thinking it is. It could be something completely different, but it is, if it is what I'm thinking it is, then it's something really special. Um, what you want to look at closely is the fact it's all white and beautiful. Look at it. It's so pretty. Uh, no, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it and um, my dog took a special interest in this because whoever's wrapped this actually used a dog food bag to do so. So I hope that when I open it, it does not stink. I really do. And for anybody who is thinking about sending things in the future, just to anybody in general, don't use dog food bags. Okay. Turns out it doesn't smell like dog food. It smells like cigarettes. So hold on while I get my blooming Febreze. So here it is at long last. It is the electronic command compound. And I can't like sing this thing's praises enough. Anybody who watched the first movie or grew up with it, what like loved I love the whole visitor center theme and aesthetic. The sort of thatch roof and the building and um this toy gives you it all. It gives you the building, it gives you the fences. Um, I'm pretty sure somewhere it's gonna say, um, uh, thing is not included, figure's not included. <laughs> it's just Dennis and Eddie at the top there having a whale of a time. Um, but you get two laser guns, I'm pretty sure, a catapult, six bits of fences, the, Jura the iconic Jurassic Park gate with flames, you get another sniper tower. It's actually electronic, so it makes noises and everything. Um, the building itself break offable pieces, and inside you get like the um, you get the eggs and everything. Literally everything you can think of that was iconic with the first movie, apart from the dinosaurs and characters, you get here. This is this is probably what would have been on um, the rich kids' wish, wish lists um, back in the day. So we're gonna quickly take a look at the box. So obviously we have some lovely, beautiful um, commissioned artwork there. Is it artwork? No, commissioned artwork, no it's not. It's just, yeah, this one, this box actually, unlike the other ones, like the Jeeps and the characters, has no commissioned artwork on it. Uh, Cause it would, it actually sells itself just by looking at it. It doesn't need to have some fancy schmancy thing. And if we look at the top while well, everything crashes about inside, here we go. You have the actual little command station with uh, one, two, three, four buttons, is that right? I'm pretty sure it was just three, but uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm missing, oh, maybe I just need to brush up on my uh, Jurassic Park. What's awesome is the Jurassic Park gate can fit all of the vehicles that come with the first waves, or oh, second wave, basically this Jurassic Park merchandise line. And you're talking about the Jeep, Jeep Wrangler, the Explorer, they can all fit through. You've got smashable bits, like the uh, bit of the incubation lab, where the eggs can smash off. Um, a bit of the wall on the other side smashes off. The door, of course, can come off. The top comes off. But the bit where the uh, and the outside rail can come off as well. There's loads of different features to this. Uh, that uh, that ain't the back. But, oh wait, hold on. The back is sort of the same. It is the same. It just takes out the little kid and adds a T-Rex in instead. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, th th at the time, I think this was. Apart from the T-Rex, probably the most wanted of the toys. Maybe on par with the vehicles, like the Jeep Wrangler and the Cruise, uh, sorry, the um, Explorers. But it really, what I remember wanting is the fences. And what's awesome about these fences, they aren't little diddy fences either. These are tall, and you'll see when we get this out of the packaging. And the uh, they come with rails as well. And what's awesome is you don't have to put them with the uh, compound. I mean, you can use them any way you want. And what's awesome nowadays is you can buy the fences by themselves. So if you want to make a huge compound that looks the legit, then you've got them. As a kid, it would be like I would have loved having 
50 bits of fencing and then just, I don't know, making a fence all the way around my bed or something, all around a table and just having that all as the enclosure or side, you know, having half of it off. What I would usually do if I had that, if it was a table facing the wall, I'd put a fence along one side and then I would make some trees on paper and just cut them out and stick them on the back so it looks like instead of a wall, you've got like this thick undergrowth and then maybe it was a weird kid. Probably was. We're gonna get right into this. More oust! Aye! So, never mind the oust spray on it. Here we go, this is one of the fences. And oh, oh my god, it's got some little, it needs a clean. Oh god, this whole thing needs a clean. But anyway, so here is the fencing, as you can see, it is quite tall. I mean, we're not talking, you no know, little ditty toys here. It's, it's a substantial size for just one piece of fence. You'd probably just get the entire set. In fact, actually, there is now a T-Rex strike sort of um, combo thing. I, I don't know what it is. It comes with a little McDonald's toy. And the fences are actually about half the size. They're really small. Um, I mean, yeah, it makes sense if the T-Rex is small. It's like they've just scaled down the whole thing. Probably taking the molds of these, um, scaled them down. I don't know if it comes with a little sticker that says 10,000 volts, as you can see there. Um, so we're gonna get the rest of this out and try to assemble it. Right, so after a long time of cleaning and setting up, it is finally all done. So first impressions is it's pretty damn impressive. It comes with a variety of things. It comes with uh, multiple guns. It has a satellite, a catapult sort of set that you can fling uh, a net at dinosaurs that escape. It comes with electric fences. It comes with a Jurassic Park game with flames and a breakable piece. Uh, so if things are breaking out or if maybe a Jeep has to go through, it smashes up and it gives this really authentic sort of look. Uh, but we'll start with the uh, visitor center itself. It has multiple sort of dino damage sort of action features. So you have the back, the back can come off. There's like a little walkway around the outside and a bit, a bit of that can break off. a removable door as well there is actually a uh, a bit there's a hatchery downstairs which comes with all these little eggs that the characters can actually hold i'm pretty sure i haven't tested that but from looking at it it looks like they can hold uh, the each individual individual eggs two of them are hatched and two of them are normal it has a little biohazard sort of thing uh, around the back of it which is a nice little touch little little hint of detail <laughs> Around the hall outside of this visitor center, actually, I always thought that was water. I don't know why. I mean, it, it could be grass, could be argued. The fences do slot into the um, into the compound. This one actually doesn't have any batteries in its compound, but I'm pretty sure all you have to do is just unscrew it. And uh, I think the whole piece is, I think it actually comes out. I'm pretty sure it can come out and you can just put batteries in it. Basically, once you log on, it will set a sort of sound and then from there um, every now and again it'll come up with different alerts like oh no the raptors have broken out <laughs> so when you turn it on you best be prepared to be sat with it for about 10 minutes because it will keep shouting at you every now and again saying that Ellie's in danger, Dennis is in danger, some sort of paddock is powers out Dinosaurs, security check um, it comes with a cool little um, gun that fits in the bottom right, another dino damage piece which is there, and the whole interior sort of decoration is really nice, you've got like dinosaur skeletons, uh, actually they're on the outside but they're uh, sort of embossed on the inside too. Uh, pipes and everything and really uh, there's loads of like positions to put action figures like there's holes in the floor 
So you can just say uh, maybe Ron Ron Ronald Ronald McDonald. <laughs>
hate the fences and go, oh, I'll sell these on, because they are pretty awesome. Uh, there was a Jurassic Park 3 um, uh, thing like this that came with the gate, came with the fencing. It did not come with this. This did not make a return. And what's interesting is that Jurassic World, I suppose, could have made a return for this. They could have made it, you know, exactly the same, but have it aged so it's darker and maybe like, you know, bits of mold on it and vines and stuff. And that would have been really cool to have sort of maybe the, uh, to have the whole thing inside solid, possibly. I mean, it's, this would look really cool on grass, I could imagine it. Um, but it, it would be nice for Jurassic World to have done something like that. Maybe like an aged gate. Um, you know, fencing could have been fine, but I mean, it was just asking for it. Jurassic World knew that it was sort of eating and chowing down on the nostalgia of us kids and adults that grew up with the trilogy, or at least with the first one anyway. Um, and it could have been so easy for them to have taken this uh, model. Of course, it would have been Hasbro. I don't know whether they would have had the rights to it. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but knowing them, it's probably good that they didn't because they probably would have scaled oh, this mighty majestic beast of a model down to about an eighth of its size and um, and then maybe, and of course you don't have any uh, characters, uh, you don't have a Chris Pratt to walk around, you know, it doesn't even come on a motorbike, nothing, no, 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 it really does baffle me that the star of the movie that you would want chasing down a Dominus or any of them interacting with the Raptors or what have you and they didn't do it at all. I would really have loved to have known the conversation that went on with Universal and Hasbro. I feel like Universal would have been like, oh yeah, do all this, do all this. But then Hasbro would have said, well really, kids, I mean, kids buy the dinosaurs, they don't really buy the figures, which is wrong. And I, I well actually it's probably true to an extent, but they would have, it's just a really big missed opportunity and it kind of sucks that that happened. Um, so guys, if you think that, I, I always to give this a rating, um, it would probably be a nine out of 10 because nothing is ever perfect and there is always room for improvement. Um, this one in particular, probably a seven out of 10 just because it's a little bit aged. I will say it comes with all of the parts, which is awesome, but um, just the fact that uh, I can still smell a tiny bit of smoke and it. it's a bit like, oh god. <laughs> but I mean, it's nothing that, you know, a little bit more clean and elbow grease isn't gonna fix. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Do you want this? What's your views on it? Of course, leave it down in the comments below. I try to read every one of them. And of course, each opinion is uh, very important to me. And I do like seeing like what your I mean, if you didn't grow up with this, what's your first impressions? Is it good? Is it bad? Because, I mean, I have a sense of nostalgia with it, so I don't know how, um, I mean, I try to judge these things unbiasedly. I know it's quite hard to do when it's Jurassic Park. Um, but I, like overall, I would give it a nine out of 10, pretty much. It's, if, if you're a fan of Jurassic Park and you've got kids who love the franchise, they are gonna absolutely eat this up. And you're gonna love seeing the joy in their faces as they just like play around with the things, recreating the scenes from the movies and all that. And I tried to end the episode a little second ago and I didn't do it too well, so I'm gonna end it now. So join this episode, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, God! Oh, no!